as the establishment bombards us with warnings of a new COVID wave, how do we stop the nation once again falling under the spell of mass formation psychosis? That won't be easy, I'm afraid. As soon as you understand the mechanism of it, you understand that once a large-scale mass formation emerges in a society, it's quite difficult to prevent the next one to, to happen. And that all, that's purely a consequence of, of, uh, of the psychological mechanism, mechanisms at work. Uh, so uh, the most important thing, I believe, is always that the people who uh, do not buy into the narrative, who have the capacity, the capability to take a, a critical distance of the narrative, continue to speak out. Continue to speak out in public space. That's the most important advice I could give uh, in this situation. Well, that's good because we will keep doing it. But I believe, Dr. Matthias, as well, you say it's important not to get angry or aggressive with folk who have bought into the mass formation psychosis. Yes, of course. And, you know, I never use the term mass formation psychosis. I always use the term mass formation just because from an intellectual and ethical and also a pragmatic point of view, I think it's better to avoid the psychiatric term. So, but uh, indeed, uh, the most important thing is just to speak out uh, without being too convinced that you are the only one who knows the truth. It's just best to speak out, to give your own opinion, to stick to the ethical duty of uh, of of. of articulating the words that you think uh, are sincere and honest without too much uh, being too fanatically convinced yourself of what you believe in and without really trying to convince the other people. So it's just um, the optimal strategy to deal with this phenomenon, I think, is, 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 is just uh, uh, sticking to the ethical duty of articulating the words that seems at that moment sincere and honest to you. Now, of course, Professor, your world blew up last year after this famous podcast between Robert Malone and Joe Rogan. That was the first time that I had learnt of your work, for example. How important was that moment in terms of changing the narrative internationally about COVID hysteria? Yeah, that's hard to know, I think. I received many messages of people who, who told me that once they, they heard my theory and once they heard me explaining how this strange phenomenon of mass formation, this specific, this strange kind of group formation, which has such strange effects at the level of individual psychological functioning, uh, that once they heard me explain it, they started to see what was happening and they started to understand uh, why they bought into the narrative for a certain time and they also started to understand why uh, everyone around them started to behave in such a strange way. So, but of course, it's hard to know what the uh, what what ultimately the impact of of my theory on um, on uh, on on the the course of the of the of the phenomenon was. I have no idea, to be honest. I I think yeah, probably some people will have changed their mind, but uh, maybe not too much. I'm not sure about it. No, I don't. I, 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 it's hard to gauge.